Hello, I'm Jared, a technical customer service specialist here at the AWS office in Dublin, Ireland. Today, I'm going to show you how to view utilization and coverage reports for your reserved instances. Let's get started. Before we begin, note that you can use AWS Cost Explorer to generate the reserved instances utilization and reserved instances coverage reports. With these reports, you can dive deeper into reserved instances for the following services. Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, Amazon Elasticash, Amazon MemoryDB for Redis, Amazon OpenSearch Service, Amazon Redshift, Amazon Relational Database Service. For each of these services, you can obtain meaningful information on how your reserved instances are being fully utilized, as well as their coverage. Open the AWS Cost Management Console by searching for AWS Cost Explorer. Now that we are in the AWS Cost Management Console, in the left navigation pane, choose Reports. To view the RI Utilization Report, choose RI Utilization. To view the RI Coverage Report, choose RI Coverage. Please note, you can also select either Utilization Report or Coverage Report under Reservations on the AWS Cost Management tab to the left. On the right in the Report Parameters tab under Service, you can select the AWS service you want to view. In the Report Parameters tab, you also have the option to filter by date range. Linked account, if applicable, region, availability zone, instance type, scope, platform, and tenancy. Within coverage reports, if you want, you can change the target coverage graph line, granularity, and the usage in hours or units under the coverage target percentage section. This is the same for utilization reports. If you made specific filter changes and date range changes, you can save the report as a new report by choosing Save to Report Library. Now let us take a look at how you will view your utilization and coverage reports in Cost Explorer. Here is a utilization report for multiple RIs on an account for C1.xLarge Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instances. Note that you can view all the RIs on the account, the account name, subscription ID, instance type of the RI, RI utilization percentage, RI hours purchased, RI hours used, and RI hours unused. On the second line item, we can see that the RI for C1.xLarge instances is at 100% utilization with 16,510 hours used and zero hours unused. This is because the RI is fully used to its maximum commitment, and so all the RI hours were used. On the first line item, we see that the C1.xLarge RI is at 88% utilization with 3,000 117 hours unused, meaning the RI is not being fully used. There is 12% availability to create additional C1.xLarge instances to reach 100% utilization and maximize cost savings. Above the line items is the utilization graph for all RIs, which is at 96% out of 100%. This means that there is availability to create more instances covered by the RI to reach 100% utilization. It is best practice to use your purchased RIs completely, that is, to see them at 100% utilization. Now let's take a look at a coverage report for various EC2 instance types on an AWS account. Note how you can view each instance type on your account, the platform of the instance, its tenancy, region located, average coverage for the instance type, RI hours covered, on-demand hours, and on-demand costs. On the second line item, we see that for all T2.small instances in the US East 1 region, RIs are covering only 75%, meaning that 25% of our T2.small instances 
in the US East 1 region are not receiving RI discounts, but are charged on-demand rates for 552 on-demand hours. Considering purchasing more RIs for T2.small instances in the US East 1 region is recommended. On the fourth line item, we see that for all M5.large instances in the US East 1 region, there is 0% coverage, meaning there are either no RIs purchased for M5.large in that region, or we've 100% utilized existing RIs, or the RI is expired and is no longer active. If none of these apply, and if you purchased an RI for M5.large in that region, then it's possible you have misconfigured the RI. Open a support case to AWS customer support on the support center, if that is the case. On the first line item for T2.nano instances in the US East 1 region, there is 100% coverage, meaning all those instances of that instance type are receiving the RI discounted rate and no on-demand charges. Above the line items, we see the graph for all RIs and their coverage, the average coverage hours, total on-demand costs, and estimated annual savings. It's best practice to have 100% coverage on the instance types that you purchased an RI for, so that you can maximize your savings with the RI discounted rate applying to all your instances of the instance type. And now you know how to view utilization and coverage reports for your reserved instances. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.